Now, there was an interesting study led by Dr. Preston Cho and uh, Wilson uh, that looked at the effect of analgesics, so acetaminophen, aspirin, and non-aspirin uh, NSAIDs. And all of us, you know, um, many of us take these medications for pain, fever, and others. Looking specifically at two cohorts. Interesting thing about the cohorts, the follow-up is more than 20 years, and those cohorts involve more than 100,000 patients, uh, women and men, the nurse health study and the physician uh, health professional uh, follow-up study. So, uh, in fact, our group reported in the past about the relationship between renal cell cancer and not acetaminophen or aspirin, but an increased risk, risk, of with uh, non-aspirin NSAID in this prospective uh, longitudinal study. And um, looking again at uh, these two studies, we confirmed that risk was non-aspirin NSAID. But what is important, we looked at clear cell versus all RCC, it is confirmed, it's confirmed. And we looked also at the lethal form of renal cell because there are some renal cell that actually do not lead to killing the patient, of course. So we looked at the lethal form, those renal cell carcinoma that led to uh, the patient dying from kidney cancer, and again, non-aspirin NSAID increased the risk of having a renal cell cancer, a lethal form of renal cell cancer. More interesting, we have data from uh, these two wonderful cohorts about the amount or the number of years that uh, non-aspirin NSAID, uh, non NSAID were consumed. And with higher consumption, there is even higher risk. So a cumulative effect. This is very interesting data. The next step, we're getting these samples, over 400 uh, cases, to see if there is anything uh, genomically or anything in the pathway that can explain uh, why these patients, you know, and what they have, and what the exposure to NSAID can do to these patients, especially that uh, this is one of the most consumed over-the-counter medication. Hard to guess, uh, we looked at this specifically, uh, you know, is it a passage in the, uh, uh, you know, in the kidneys, is there an effect uh, there on the tubules, and is there any effect in, uh, in the initiation of cancer at that level, is it a direct effect or it's a local, um, uh, you know, effect, what pathways are not uh, uh, you know, are affected, and is there something that predisposes the patient? We do not have a clear explanation uh, for this uh, uh, yet. I cannot say that these non-aspirin NSAID, oh yeah, they're carcinogenic. No, they are not considered carcinogenic, so there could be something. And the other question is, who is the person that is at higher, much higher risk if they're exposed to these drugs for a long period, that will have potentially the lethal form of RCC. This will be the subject of further studies with our group. The take home message is there is more and more evidence that non-aspirin NSAID, unlike acetaminophen, may raise your risk. The risk is still is very small. Um, but it's statistically significant, but it raises your risk of developing kidney uh, cancer, especially the lethal form, but with more prolonged use uh, rather than um, you know, intermittent or uh, use for a short period of time.